Hey, it's Todd with Kudus Industries, and today we got a uh, replacement of a baluster on a Trex Transcend deck railing. So I'll show you how to take the uh, spacer down and then replace this baluster. So let's go. So I only use three tools to do this job. Two potty knives. I use a three inch and a one inch. You could also use two one inches or two three inches or whatever you have. But you want to get a nice stiff potty knife. And then a uh, drill driver with a number two square uh, bit in it. So the, the screws have a square uh, hole in it. So you need a square drive bit on your drill driver. I believe it's number two. To start, I'll stick a putty knife in the hole where the baluster used to be, the broken one, and I'll just pull down a little bit on that plastic spacer. Then I'll shove another putty knife in that gap between the spacer and the bottom of the top rail and start prying. So that that spacer is just pressed into the top rail and it holds the balusters in place. It kind of clicks into place. So all I'm doing, as you can see here, is just shoving that putty knife in that little gap between the spacer and the bottom of the top rail and just prying down. So I'll just keep working that on both sides, inside and outside, all the way to the end until I get this uh, spacer separated from the top rail. And we have to do this to get to the screws because the top rail has to come off and this is the only way to get to those screws to remove the top rail. What you're going to notice here, I'll hold that spacer down with one pie knife and then stick another one in there just to uh, keep it from going back up. And then I'll start working that. So as I move down and loosen up that spacer and pry it down, I'll move my second party knife along with me just to make sure that the uh, that spacer doesn't click back up into the uh, to the top rail. You see, I'm just kind of moving along here a little bit at a time. Now I'll start the other direction from center, and then see. I'll take that out. That was just enough to get that spacer out. Now that I got this one side dislodged from the top, I'll flip around to the other side and start working the other side down. And you'll see why in a little bit here, but I really need to get about a one or two foot strip of that spacer disengaged from the top rail. And then once I get that disengaged, you'll see it becomes a lot more easier to take that spacer down. So just work both sides. Just stick the putty knife in there and pry down on that spacer to get it out of the top rail. Okay, now that I got the back side loose, I'm going to jump back on this front side, make sure it's completely disconnected. You can see all the way at the end there, I can get my fingers right now and start pulling that down. So I'm going to pull down and pry at the same time. You'll see that's, that spacer comes down. It's, it's really plastic. It just clicks into the top rail. So we're just working that down. It's pretty tight around the balusters right now. So we're just going to keep working that all along. You need to pull that spacer down pretty far to get a drill or a screwdriver up underneath that top rail to get to the screws. So you see I'm just working a little bit of time. And what I'll do is, if I run into a tough spot, I'll stick the putty knife back in there and then I'll just pry again. So here we go. So it's a little tough spot, comes right off, a little bit of work. And I'll stick the putty knife on the back side and just keep working that down little by little. So you'll see, here we go. I'll just keep working it side to side. I'll stick the putty knife back in there where I have to. But I was going to, I want to work down this um, spacer until I can get my tool in there to get to the screws which are underneath the top rail. So we're just working a little bit tight. Again, this is going to be really snug to this baluster, so we really got to work a little bit at a time. Um, if it's cold out, you got to be really careful you don't break it, but in a warm climate, you know, this should be able to just work that down a little side to side a little bit of time. And what you'll see here is I just work it down far enough where I can get my tool in. So once I can get my tool in to get the screws out from underneath and the drill in this case, then I stop and then I'll, I'll start uh, taking the screws out. So you'll see here, I'll just test my drill to make sure it fits on both sides. If I know that I can get that in and get the screws out, I'm good. So, and then here's a shot of what the screw looks like underneath. It's a square drive bit, there's three screws. So you just gotta take all three screws out to get that top rail off. And you'll do that on both sides of the, uh, the rail. So here we go, I'm gonna take the three screws out of the left side then I'll jump over, take the three screws out of the right side. And you'll see once these screws are out, that top rail just comes right off. So I'm gonna take it here, get this last screw, and then just pull up on the rail and slide it out. So there you go. So there's your, all your balusters. I'll take my new baluster and slip it in the hole and work it down. You notice I don't have to take do anything with the bottom rail. So that stays intact. Slip that new baluster right through the hole, engage it in the bottom, and that's it. Now we just do the reverse and put everything back together the way we took it off. So top rail goes on, 
screws go in and then I will start working that spacer all the way up to the top until it clicks in to the underside of the top rail. Okay, screws are going in, and then what you'll see, I'll just start working that spacer up with my hands. Just work it back and forth, left to right. It's going to be tighter on the balusters, but you'll see, I'll just start working it. Uh, you know, it's going to flex. Just use your hands, kind of press it upwards, tap it upwards with your hands. I don't want to use any tools because I'm going to snap it. It is just plastic. And then once I get close enough where I can squeeze it, it's a lot easier if I just start squeezing it with the top rail, just like that. And then again, I'll just work it all the way up until it clicks in all the way across, and that is it. Okay, so there you go. If you do have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.